Hi, Steps from Soul Harmony Yoga. Welcome to our final week of getting your home yoga practice up and running. I hope that you've really enjoyed the last few weeks um, of looking at things that can really help you to get your yoga practice in place if it's something that you've been wanting to do for a while. So a home yoga practice is, if you're not really sure, because a lot of people say, well, what, what is online yoga? People aren't familiar with it and, and how does it work? Um, so basically, I have a website of videos of yoga, meditation and relaxation videos, health workshops, lots of different themed classes um, that I've recorded and then uploaded onto my website. And then the classes are available through either a monthly, quarterly or annual membership. So for the last four weeks, I've been doing these videos to help people to get their practice up and running because sometimes... People have told me that they really struggle with finding time or motivation, even though they know that it's really good for them. So there's four videos in this series that you can watch. The first one, we looked at why you want to do your yoga practice and also what would happen if you didn't have a practice that brought you back to balance, you know, a regular practice. Um, the second week, we looked at how to make sure that you're safe in your practice because that's a really key part of my teaching and also uh, how, how to choose the right class for you on any given day from over. We've got nearly 70 classes on the uh, website now. And then the third one, which is probably one of the most important things, is how to bypass your mind monkeys or your subconsciousness that's telling you that you need to stay the way you are because that's the safest place to be. And that's just what our brain does as human beings. And we need to bypass that sometimes and move on and make new choices to bring different things into our lives. So that's what last week's video is about. And our final video this week is something that is so uh, close to my heart. It's about how to integrate a healing and spiritual practice into your yoga practice. So today I'm going to take you through a short sequence to show you exactly how to do that. And within uh, the classes on the website, I tend to do this in my teachings anyway, so I don't just work at a physical level. It's looking at how you're feeling in the practice, what are your thoughts, and just, you know, working with you as a whole package rather than um, just working on the muscles in the body. Um, and that's my style of teaching, and that's how I really like to practice myself. Um, so today, I wanted to, before I go through that lovely sequence, um, I want to tell you about some of the comments and uh, testimonies that my students have given me about the website. And if you're not sure whether you're thinking, oh, maybe I should, maybe I shouldn't, I don't know whether to try this, I don't know if it's for me. I wanted to give you a flavor of what other people have said that are actually using the website, because this is a, a much easier way to get across uh, what the website's about rather than me trying to tell you, because as you know, sometimes it's easier to talk about other people's things and talk about your own. So I've got a list of things here and I'm just gonna run through them. And these are things that recently I've asked my students, what value do they get in their lives? How has it actually changed the day-to-day -day living by doing uh, Soul Harmony Yoga practices and online yoga classes? So the first one is about stepping out of the busyness. So if you're anything like me, even though I practice yoga regularly, I'm still a really busy person and I have to really just choose to stop. And I've found as well, and my students have found, that having an online yoga uh, you know, website is a really easy place to go to to help you to switch off from that busyness. And the second part of that that they found was that it actually helps them to reconnect with you know, that kind of inner balance or that central place within where you just feel like you're back in your own body or you're back in your own skin or, yep, everything feels good and everything's back in its own place, as it were. So it helps them to kind of reconnect with themselves. Um, so there's also that, um, on, in fact, one of my students this week sent me an email just talking about the reconnection. And she was saying that she'd been practicing yoga pretty much every day. She's got a really busy job. She's a mom, and she hadn't that she then stopped and not done it for a week, and suddenly noticed quite a lot of irritation, 
uh, quite a lot of uh, just feeling uncomfortable in her body and just felt really unbalanced. And so I emailed her back and said, that's a great thing to notice uh, for two reasons. The first one is that she'd actually raised her awareness to notice when she wasn't balanced. And the second one is that she knew what to do to bring herself back into balance. And that for me is what I want this yoga website to be is about how to, you know, give you the tools so that you can just switch on and you've got tools to bring yourself back into balance. And I will say, you don't always feel like you come back into balance straight away. Sometimes it takes, you know, half an hour after your practice and then something switches or it might be later on in your day if you're carrying quite a lot of, you know, irritation or negativity or whatever it is that your yoga practice then sort of dissolves and clears for you. Um, so, yeah, that was a really lovely story that um, that I, you know, I got a lot from. So that's nice. Uh, so the next one is uh, helping uh, my students find that doing a yoga practice, particularly prior to a busy day, really helps them to stay focused and helps with a clear mind. And and this kind of there's something once you start a regular yoga practice and you do your yoga practice in the morning, there's an easier flow in the day. And I don't think that's being measured scientifically, but it's something that I experience regularly. And I can really tell when I haven't done my own practice and my students have also fed back that that's the same as well. It creates this kind of flow and your day goes a lot easier. Um, and also, um, they've said that it enhances their creativity because they've got quite a lot of creative women either, you know, artists or um, holistic practitioners, lots of women that are doing all sorts of kind of different things and mums that are, you know, being creative with their children every day and helping uh, the children to grow so it really helps you to um, open your imagination and your creativity as well and that's what my students have found okay a couple more was uh, feeling stronger in the body and your emotions and mind um, and helping to reduce anxiety and worry and the byproduct of that was I most people say that they have the best night's sleep when they practice uh, the yoga practice so that's been, yeah, quite, a, you know, probably one of the main things that I get fed back regularly in my classes as well. Um, and the final key theme that people found was that it helps them to switch off from their day when they've had a busy day. So depending on what time of day you practice, um, when you've, you know, had a really busy day and you come home from work, it's really easy just to, oh, I just need to slump in front of the TV and, um if you do a short yoga practice, for example, yesterday I did legs up the wall. I made a short video that's on YouTube, only a minute long, but it just briefly shows you the practice, not YouTube, it's on Instagram and Facebook. Um, it just shows you this posture called legs up the wall. There's a few classes that contain it as well. And it's a wonderful posture just to just let your day ah, just drift off you. And it's you just end up feeling really calm and relaxed. So I I didn't um, just slump in front of the TV for the night. I actually did something really creative, which was really nice to do because when you're working during the day, often it's nice to be able to do things that give you a boost in the evening or that you really enjoy doing or that are fun rather than just watching TV or something. So they're the main things that my students have found so far. Uh, I also want to tell you about a change in price that is going to be happening. So usually at the end of when you've done four weeks, um, you know, there's some offer on There's, You know, I want to offer you something at the end of the course so that you can continue if something's resonated with you, that you continue working with me. And because a lot of my students have said to me, you're simply not charging enough for this website, I've actually decided to raise my prices. So I'm, my offer to you today is I've, I'm going to change my prices in a week's time. And if you uh, sign up for the monthly membership, the quarterly or the annual membership uh, within the next seven days, you will have the website, um, the membership at the price that it is now rather than um, the prices that it's going to be. So it's for the monthly membership, it's a dollar and then your second month and consecutive months are 14 US dollars um, and that's going to be going up to 18 US dollars 
Uh, the quarterly membership is $37 a month, which is going up to $50. Sorry, a quarter, which is going up to $50 a quarter. And then the annual membership is a, you get a 10% discount with the annual membership. And that's going up to 195 and it's currently 147 US dollars. So if you want to try it, just jump in within the next seven days and then you will always pay those prices as long as you're on the um, website. Your price will never um, increase. So get in now before the prices change. And I'll put some information in the post about that too. Okay, so the last thing I want to tell you before we go into our sequence is about what's included in that membership. You know, uh, what, do, what do I get for that money? So um, we've got nearly 70 online yoga, relaxation and meditation classes. We've got, uh, I tend to teach in themed classes. So I've got quite a lot of uh, Facebook live classes that I do because I teach as part of your membership. You get access to a full one hour yoga class each month and they tend to be themed like a full moon class or I've done yoga for confidence class or um, we've got a yoga for inflammation class in there. And I also have some uh, workshops on the website as well. So we've got a one day detox workshop and we've also got an emotional balance and self care course uh, that includes 12 lessons if you really want to address you know, just bringing a bit more emotional balance into your life. We've also got a six-week course on mindfulness, a six-week course on back care, lots of other different themed classes. And then we've got restore and re-energize classes. So they tend to be blocked into themed classes. Uh, you'll get a monthly newsletter and lots of health blogs. So um, I don't want to just be an online yoga website. I want to have a wide range of articles, health blogs, yoga videos, meditations, you know, videos around different techniques to bring back emotional balance. So it's more of a holistic um, website that you're part of rather than it just being about physically stretching and um, that's, a, you know, that's it. So the, you'll be part of the Facebook, private Facebook group. And also in 2018, I'm just starting to introduce in, uh, in, can't get my words out, interviewing is what I'm trying to say, interviewing some other holistic health practitioners. So I'm going to be starting with um, an EFT practitioner, Alison Monaghan, and we're going to be talking about different ways to bring yourself back into balance using emotional freedom techniques. And that's a technique that I use quite a lot. So. Um, I wanted to start with something that I'm really familiar with. Okay, I think that's everything that I need to tell you for now. So I'm going to take you through a practice now. So you want to either pause the video and get your yoga mat. And I'm going to take you through Energy Block Release 3, which is a beautiful Drew Yoga sequence. And it's all around bringing yourself away from a busy mind and just coming into your heart center. Okay, so it's a really beautiful way to balance your nervous system. And we're gonna be looking at how to enhance it so that your yoga practice is around healing your body and making it more of a spiritual practice to connect with nature um, as well. So without further ado, I'll pop my books down. We'll just pop the chair to one side. And I better take my boots off. Back, get my boot off. Okay. And I'm going to invite you to come onto your mat and just bring your feet to hip width apart. There we go. Smart myself up. The video. So just bringing your awareness down to your feet, I'm just going to invite you to really tune into your toes and just gently lift them, place them back on the mat. And just bring in your awareness down through the center of your feet as though you're really taking your awareness through the center of your feet and down into the earth beneath you. Becoming aware of your heels as they gently rest on the earth. And then starting to travel up 
through your legs. We're going to soften into your knees. So we never have the joints locked in Drew Yoga or in my yoga classes. We're just going to soften down into the knees. Bringing your awareness to your pelvis. We're going to put the hands on the pelvis and just rock back and forth a couple of times and then bring yourself into a lovely central position. And then allowing your arms to relax down by your side. We always want to be working on our core strength when we're working in our yoga practice. So we're going to take our awareness to the muscles of the pelvic floor. Take a breath in and as you breathe out, we're just going to gently lift, only about 10%, just gently lift the muscles of the pelvic floor and you'll feel your abdominal muscles engage and just breathe in normally. Let's lengthen through the sternum, take the shoulders up and relax them down. Lengthening through the back of the neck. Just take a few breaths here and just invite you to bring your awareness into your whole body. And maybe noticing there's a few thoughts that are traveling by, just let them travel by. And then we're going to bring our awareness to our hands. We're going to take a breath in and then just circle the hands around till the hands come up above. Your head, you're going to turn the palms to faint, face uppermost towards the beautiful light from the sun. And just close your eyes and just start to breathe in. Imagine this light pouring down from the sun, down through your palms, into your arms, and down through your whole body. Just inviting an intention in for your practice now as this light travels through. Something that you'd like to heal or rebalance. And then we're going to start to circle the arms around. So just following me now, we're going to turn to the right and just take your right hand down behind you. Bring it down to the thigh. Turn towards me and raise the arm. Up. We'll do the same on the left. So turn into your left. Take the left arm down behind you, so we're coming into a slight stretch down to the thigh, circling front. So we're going to keep flowing with this movement. So sink down into your knees now as you circle your arm down. Travel in front, lengthening through, lifting up. Over to your left arm, circles down, traveling through, lift. And just keep flowing with this movement. And then I'm going to add the breath in. So as you turn to your left, wait now until you're ready to exhale. And then when you're ready, start exhaling. Inhale as you lift and turn. Exhale. Inhale, lift and turn. Exhale. Don't worry too much if you're completely new to this movement about the breath. Just see if you can feel a softness as you lower your arms, just softening your body. And just imagining that beautiful light that's circling around your body. You draw it down with your arm. And you're just inviting every cell in your body to open with that light. One more time to your right and then to your left. Lovely. And then we're going to bring the hands down in front of your heart and come into a gentle twist. So we're going to turn the right palm and allow it to face you. So your left palm is still facing away. I'm going to take a breath in. Keeping your left hand where it is, as you breathe out, just take the right palm behind you and just keep looking into the palm. So now you've got a full open twist. And then on your next exhalation, just allow your palm to travel back to your center. 
and then we're going to turn the left palm to face us. Your right palm is facing away. Keep in your right palm where it is. Take a breath in. And as you breathe out, exhale, traveling around, looking into left palm and just coming into that beautiful open chest stretch. And then as you exhale, coming back to center. So let's do the right palm again. And this time I just want you to have that intention of opening your heart center. As you're really expanding, just imagine that light now filling your heart center. So we're going to take a breath in. And as you breathe out, let's just allow that palm to travel around. Just taking a couple of breaths here and just noticing, imagining that light that you've just drawn down from the sun above you. Just filling your heart. And then traveling back on your exhalation back to center. So you probably feel the strengthening you're doing with these beautiful movements as you know as a byproduct of the work that we're doing. So let's take a breath in. Exhale. Arm travels behind you. And just breathe in that light into the heart center. And you may not feel this amazing feeling right now, but it doesn't matter because the work that you're doing is starting to integrate into the structure of your cells. Let's bring the hand back to center and you will notice a shift either during your practice or afterwards. Let's inhale and bring the palms towards the heart. Sink into the knees, exhale, hands drop away. Inhale, exhale. So we're now going to start to imagine as we inhale that you're just drawing into yourself, into every cell, what you need for the day or the evening whenever you're practicing. Breathe it in. And then as you breathe out, just imagine that that expands around your whole body. So it's not just in your cells now, it's in the space around your body, everything that you need to be balanced, healed, connected, is within your body and your space around your body now. And then let's bring the hands towards the heart. <sighs> Relax the elbows down. Just tuning into that space between your hands, just maybe noticing anything that you feel there. And let's start to expand. So physically, my shoulder blades are drawing back to each other for this point. And then I'm going to sink down and round my shoulder blades off. I'm going to inhale. Exhale. Inhale. So you'll notice, exhale, that my hands are expanding. I'm really opening my heart center now. Exhale. And just allowing it to fill with everything that I need for myself right now. And of course, when we fill ourselves up, we have so much more to give to others, which is another huge benefit of a regular yoga practice. And then we're just going to start to make that space a little bit smaller. Between the hands. Beautiful. And then again, just being conscious of that space between your hands. I'm going to take the right hand and push it down by the side of your right leg. So my fingers are pointing, so I'm just going to turn. So I'm going to get in a lovely stretch into the wrist. And then I'm going to take the left hand and stretch up too. And then I'm going to inhale again, soften at the knees and allow my hands to meet at my heart center. Exhale, opposite side. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. So here what we're doing is just bringing our whole energy into alignment as we connect to the earth, to 
sky, the heavens above. So this is called the heaven and earth stretch. We're going to inhale. We align that energy back to the heart. Exhale, stretch down. One more time on each side. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Beautiful. And then just bring in your hands together at your heart center. Just take in a few breaths here. Even your feet connected to the earth. Just allow yourself to rest in your heart center. Just knowing that when you rest in this space, you can often find the answers that we have for our questions and a wiser self than just our logical mind. And you can come here anytime to your yoga practice. <sighs> Namaste. So namaste means the highest in me greets the highest in you. And that's something that is really a part of our yoga practice together when we practice together. So grab my chair to complete the video. So that's our video for this week hope you enjoyed the short practice with me and do remember if you want to start your home yoga practice drop me any questions get in touch I'm more than happy to help you and do share um, the videos with other people if you know that they're going to really benefit from them and yeah I hope to see you soon let me know how you go Remember, there's um, a week of the cost being um, the prices that they are now before um, the price will go up in seven days' time. So thank you so much for joining me for the last four weeks. I've really enjoyed teaching, um, you know, the different aspects, pulling apart what a yoga practice is all about because it really helps to get me thinking and revisiting it too. Uh, so have a lovely day and uh, yeah, I shall see you soon. Bye.